Are you using the new Chromebook screen capture feature? Let me explain how it works. You know the routine. If you like this video, please click the like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks so much. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably seeing it on our monthly show called Learning Chromebooks. Huey Poplick and I do this every Thursday. You can certainly register for the show at www techforsenior.com. So to start with today, I'd like you to sit back, relax, and look at some gorgeous pictures, along with some great music. So let's have a look at where I found those gorgeous pictures. We're going to come to, up to settings. Then we're going to come over to the left to personalization. And we're going to come up to wallpaper. I'm going to open the wallpaper app. Remember, this was a new feature in the recent OS update. We're going to come down and I'm going to choose landscapes. Uh, you have a whole bunch of choice on the left side of all the different types of pictures you can get on your Chromebook. So I'm going to choose landscapes. And as we come down here, you'll see that there's a little button here that toggles on and off. And this uh, refreshes daily. When you have this toggled on, you get all these beautiful pictures, a new one every single day. All right, I'm going to show you in two easy steps how to do a screen capture of this beautiful picture, which is the background on my Chromebook, and put it into Google Photos. So let's come up to screen capture here. Now this is really works well now. They've done such a good job uh, in making this so functional. We're going to click this, and now we have a bunch of options. And let's look at what our options are. Well, we can actually take a picture, which we're going to do, or we can actually record a video. Both are your options on your Chromebook. And uh, once we decide on a picture, we can decide whether we want a partial screenshot, whether we can select the area, or we're just going to take the whole screen, or we can just choose a window. So we have three choices here, and we're going to select the we're going to select the um, the full screen screenshot and I'm going to click that and all as I have to do now is just bring the cursor up and click anywhere on the picture boom there you go it's now done for you and watch the little menu that comes up here now I'm going to suggest you just follow this along we're going to click show in folder make this real simple for you all right now what it's going to do is it's going to show you the highlighted um, the image that we've just connected and it's going so you don't have to do anything don't touch anything come up to the share button at the top here and click on the share button and now we're going to come down and here's Google Photos we're going to click on Google Photos and let's click on this and what we're going to do is all we have to do is click the upload button Bingo, it's now into Google Photos. Isn't that cool? Two-step procedure, it is so simple. All right, let's do this one more time, but we're gonna do it quickly, all right? So we're gonna come down, we're going to open the screen capture menu up, hit screen capture. Step one is to do the capture, which we click 
full screen. Boom, there we go. Opens up, show in folder, share, Google Photos, and upload. And here are the pictures in Google Photos. All right, let's look at how we're going to store this image to Google Drive. We're going to come down and we see two Google Drive circles on our shelf. One has a little white circle at the bottom. This is the web version. If we come up here, you'll see it has a URL and it can be found at drive.google.com. You'll see up here, this is the, uh, the web version and, that, uh, and that's um, indicated by that little white dot at the bottom of the Google Drive circle on our shelf. And you'll frequently see this when there's two, uh, two versions. And this is the app. This is the Google Drive app that is on your computer. Again, uh, this is uh, not a URL. This is not the web version. This is the app. Now let's look up here. We see uh, it says My Drive, which is uh, My Drive in the Cloud, and this is on uh, the computer. And I have a bunch of different computers connected to, um, to um, Google. So we're going to stick with uh, My Drive, which is the drive in the cloud. This is the web-based web version. And we're going to create a folder. We're going to click on this, and we're going to create a folder. We're going to call it Backgrounds. So these are all the options we have, but let's click a folder. And we're going to call this folder Background. There we go. Let me type this in. And this is going to be Background. And then we're going to create a folder here. And if you look, uh, you'll be able to see it on the right-hand side right here. And this is now a folder. And we're going to put the picture that we're going to save into this folder. So let's get out of here, and we're going to come back now. And isn't that a gorgeous picture? I would love that as a background for my Zoom. Let's see how we're going to do this. All right, let's, um, let's go over to our screen capture again. You should be familiar with this now. We're going to open this up, and we're going to do a screen capture of the uh, entire screen. As I come over now, we're going to... Um, uh, one more over, and we're going to look at this is the uh, full screen. I'm going to click the button. And again, we're going to capture the whole screen, just like we did before. But this time, we're not going to send it to Google Photos. Show in folder. And we're going to share this with Google Drive this time. So we come up to the share button. And we're going to come down and we're going to come to Google Drive. We're going to click More and we're going to look down the list and we're going to find Google Drive. And here is Google Drive. Let's click this. And we should be able to find our new folder called Background. And here as we come over, we can see the folder Background. It says the folder's empty, but we're going to select this folder Come down to the right-hand side. We're going to select it. And we're now going to, um, it, the, it is selected. And that's our picture that's going to be going up into your Google Drive. And we're going to hit Save. And there it is now saved to the cloud in a folder, in Google Drive in the cloud. And it's saved in a folder called Background. So let's come up to Google. This is uh, my drive in the cloud. And let's come down, and we're going to come to um, our folder. And here's our folder called Background. I'm going to click this. And here is our screenshot that we just took. And this is going to make a nice background for my next Zoom meeting. There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, storing your images can be either in Google Photos or Google Drive. If you're just learning your Chromebook, it may be a little bit easier just to put them into Google Photos. I would suggest you go back and play this video again. I've put time chapters in the description so you can quickly go back to the, the location 
and practice quickly. It's a two-step process to simply get those images easily into Google Photos. Google Drive, a little more work to do that. And certainly there are many other options. These are just two simple ones I wanted to show you today. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior and Learning Chromebooks. Please remember the like and subscribe, and we'll see you in another month. Bye now.